everybody. Today we're going to talk about connected walking, which is what you're going to be practicing with the shelter dogs. So what is connected walking? It's uh, basically walking with a dog through an environment, promoting connection so that you guys are kind of uh, paying attention to each other and engage with one another as you explore. This is different from something more formal like heel work or teaching a formal loose leash walking skill, right? It's just about making an enjoyable experience for both you and the dog on the end of your leash. So when you are going out on a connected walk, you want to think a little bit about what your purpose is. Uh, your purpose is, again, not formal training. Um, it's not really so much physical exercise either, right? It's about exploring together, enriching the dog's day, um, giving them opportunities, giving them freedom of choice as much as possible while maintaining safety. So a few things you're going to do. First of all, get your dog, put equipment on, scan the environment paying attention to what's going on in the environment that may um, be dangerous, may be distracting, may be whatever. Just paying attention to what's going on, making sure that you're aware of any other dogs that might be present, um, cats on the property, members of the public, etc. Um, the next thing you want to do is be paying attention to the environment as a dog, right? Be more dog, anticipate what they're going to be interested in, and as much as possible, allow them access to those things. I'm talking about shrubbery that might be interesting smelling, um, you know, things that have been peed on. Uh, these are the things that our dogs are really excited about, and the walk is for them. So how can we give them access to those things in a safe way? Um, the next thing we're going to do is being paying attention to when we are getting pulling, we want to be setting a really gentle boundary. So say you're walking by a smelly bush and the dog is really wanting to check it out. Of course, we can let them check it out, but we can also set a boundary where we're not ending up in the bush with them. And that doesn't mean leash popping, jerking them, coming to a sudden halt. It just means gently letting them know, oh, that's as far as I'm going to go and waiting for them to finish investigating with the amount of leash that they have. So setting that gentle boundary, and then as they're investigating whatever it is that's captured their interest, you can use your body language to show them the direction you'd like to be going in. So you can communicate with your body pointing away from that exciting whatever it is, so that when they kind of come up for air and, and connect with you, offer you eye contact, you're able to say, yep, let's go, and you're able to move with the dog. So that's the connection we're talking about there. That moment when the dog goes, hey, this smells really good. Oh, hey, what's up? There's someone at the end of my leash. We can take advantage of that moment, capture it, and show the dog that we're moving with them onto the next exciting thing. You can also pay for those moments with food if the dog is willing to take food in that moment. Sometimes we're too excited, too stressed, to whatever, so they're not taking food. But if you're able to capture a check-in, that's an awesome skill to build um, for the rest of the dog's lifetime. Um, so. Uh, moving with the dog through the environment, looking for things that are exciting to them, and uh, showing them that pulling is actually not the best way to get where they want to go, but being connected with the person is going to result in a more fun and exciting walk than just hanging out at the very end of your leash. Alright, so Lindsay's taking Bruce out. She's going to do her knock on the door to let anyone know that she's coming through, and immediately scanning the environment, seeing what's going on around. We do notice that we have a dog in the yard to the side, so she's gonna move nice and fast, getting him past with not too much opportunity to do much. Bruce is taking some time to check out the environment and me. <laughs> When he stalls out, Lindsay's using some food to see if that can motivate him to keep keep it moving a little bit. There's another dog back there. We're just kind of staying, keeping our pace, letting that dog enter the building before we continue outward. Now taking a look around and headed back out. So you notice when he hits the end of the leash, we're just pausing, letting him investigate what he needs to investigate. And then when he comes back, moving forward with him, giving him that moment he needs to take inventory of what's going on around him. Sniffing is so important for dogs. It really actually gives them a great relaxation. It's kind of like deep breathing for dogs. So we really want to give them every opportunity to use their nose that we can. And once again, he's just not quite ready. So Lindsay's showing him which way she'd like to go with her body. And that way when he's ready to connect with her, she's ready to go. Beautiful. Again, sniffing is super important. This is an area where a lot of dogs uh, leave their 
calling card, so to speak. So taking some time here and letting him get that information while again showing him where she'd like to go once he's ready. Notice that the leash is slack. She's not pulling on him. She's just really letting him take that time that he needs. Uh, you know, again, really good for his brain. And this is what enrichment's all about, letting a dog be a dog. They just happen to be attached to you because safety. Now we're ready to move. Just kidding. There's another area to sniff. The world is full of smells. And I'm behind him, so he has to make sure that I'm coming too. <laughs> oh, this one sniff. Every couple feet, good sniffies. Sniffies and sniffies and sniffies. Making sure that the leash isn't wrapped around him in a weird way. He really wants to walk in the grass and sniff as he goes. So that's what he shall do. And taking your time like this is actually the most enriching way you can set up your walk. It's really not about running back there and getting five laps in the back 40. It's about giving the dog what they need in this moment. And uh, Bruce really needs to sniff and pee at the same time, apparently. You can see how nice and loose the leash is. His needs are being met. He's getting to do all the things he needs to do. His human is being a partner to him, so he's not really in a hurry. He's just being able to meander and explore. He even offered her a little eye contact there, just kind of checked in with her and said, hey, what's up, you're still over there? Oh, bless you. And now I am even more of a distraction because I'm in front of him. Sorry, bud. So there we go. He realized, oh, I should actually connect with my person. 